What's good about this one is that it has no harsh sulfates, no parabens, no silicates, no silicates. <laughs> What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are talking all about some awesome Black-owned brands that are offered at Sephora. As always, I want you to give the video a thumbs up if you like it now. If, if you just know it's gonna be off the chain, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Or you wanna wait till the end, make sure you do it either way, okay? Join my text community, it's free. Anyone can join, including you, so why not? Also, make sure you are following me on Instagram because that's important. I be, I be in two different places, so let's just do the whole thing, all right? All links are gonna be below. This video is in partnership with Sephora, so thank the Lord for that. Very fantastic. And we're gonna just go ahead and get started. Now, if you're wondering, this look is my basic makeup look. It's available in a different video. In this video, we're discussing some very important things, okay? Sephora is committed to the 15% pledge, which means that 15% of all the brands sold at Sephora will be Black-owned brands to offer more variety, assortment, you understand. And you know, that we'd love to hear that, okay? All of the products that I'm gonna discuss in this video are from Black-owned brands, okay? The first one is by Ajwa Beauty. You have heard me discuss Ajwa Beauty on my IG stories. If you haven't, you are missing out. There is such a problem. What I love about Ajwa Beauty is that, first of all, it's a Ghanaian brand. It's pronounced Ajwa, okay? Not Ajwa, not Odua, it's Ajwa Beauty. Okay, like a Ghanani, which I love, you know, from Ghana as well. Shout out, Ew. I think that this is fantastic. This is so interesting because it's different from the branding that I've seen. I've seen their products more white and black, and now here we have this baby blue. I just love that she's given us what the girls need. Okay, now this is called the Blue TNC Reparative Mask. It strengthens and repairs, and it's for damaged and color treated hair. Now, you know, I have natural hair, I'm all about the hydration. If you're wondering, even this look that I have right here is after I have conditioned my hair, I co-wash my hair all of the time. I only shampoo on occasion. And occasion is honestly like every month or so. It like depends, but conditioning is so important to me. So be it a conditioner that I'm gonna put in my hair and then wash out right away, or something like this that's going to strengthen it, I use it as a deep conditioner, is perfect because for my natural hair, the hydration is so, so important. And that's why I don't shampoo often, I more so condition, okay? Now this is clean at Sephora, it ain't got no silicones, okay? It's perfect for color treated hair like I told you, and it's great for all hair types, so. That's fantastic. Now, as you can see right here, we're in my shower and I am doing my conditioner wash or my co-wash. So what I am gonna actually do is leave this in for 15 minutes, which is longer than I normally do, but this one specifically says to leave it on the hair for five to 15 minutes. I like to go the long mile, so I'm gonna do 15 minutes, but I like to take an ample amount onto my hair. My natural hair is thick, it's curly, it's juicy, and it requires a lot of product. So what I love is that with this product, for $36, you get 16 fluid ounces. This should last me maybe two or three applications. And I think that's pretty good, you know? So applying this to my hair, you do wanna focus this on your ends of your hair. And then of course, detangle it. Very important to detangle the hair when you're doing a deep condition like I'm doing here. This product is very rich. It's hydrating and it's perfect for that leave-in type of situation that I'm gonna do right now. Putting my hair up into a high ponytail to get it off of my face and then I'm gonna finish my shower. Obviously, I will rinse this off at a later point, okay? And so after I rinse that out of my hair, I will just style it. So the styling could be slicking it back down like I have right now or braids to go under a hairstyle or have it half down. It just depends on what I wanna do, okay? And that's one of the awesome hair options at Sephora. Another one that I've enjoyed for another brand from Sephora is Briogeo. It's so funny, I didn't know how to pronounce it at first. It's just, it just sounds so fancy, Briogeo, love that. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliate shampoo and now as we discussed in the beginning I don't always shampoo but when I do shampoo this is a great option not only is it black owned brand we love to support black owned brands okay that's important but this one is good because it's a shampoo now theoretically shampoos are stripping right and that's why I don't shampoo my hair very often I do conditioner right but what's good about this one is that it has no harsh sulfates no parabens no silicones no phthalates no artificial dyes no DE a, what does that say? 
<laughs> that rhymes. I love it. It ain't got none of that stuff, okay? And that's important, all right? So what I love, and this is interesting because no one when I think about shampoos, I'm thinking of a tube, more of a liquid form, but this one is micro exfoliating. Hello, like, duh. Now, just look at the product and I'm working it into my hair. It's got this gray tint to it because of the charcoal, of course. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm scrubbing my scalp in a gentle way, but I don't know about you, but I like to really get into my scalp. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is creamy, it's plant-based, and it has exfoliators in it to help gently remove dead skin, excess oils, impurities, all from the hair and the scalp, okay? And that's important. It's nutrient-rich, it's got coconut oil in it, tea tree oil, and so that moisturizes and soothes dry, flaky scalp. Let me tell you right now, one thing I cannot do is a dry and a flaky scalp. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. The charcoal that's in it does detoxify and cleanse the skin to help diminish scalp and hair build up because you know your girl be changing her hairstyle a lot. And even now I have four different products in my hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do be needing to get the build up, you know, off. So this is a great option for you, black owned brand at Sephora, ow. All right, now let's talk about fashion fair. I gotta be honest. My mom was in the fashion fair, you understand what I'm saying? So I thought it was a, a brand for the mature audiences, you understand? And I still think that it is, right? But we are, we got Fashion Fair in our kit now. What is so cool, look at that. This is magnetic. Like, come on Fashion Fair, what we doing? Look at that. How cute, we got a little magnet situation. Does it, does it do on the, on the side, on the bottom too? On the top, no. Just the side and the side, you gotta get the right side though. Don't, don't trip. Okay. All right, now we have two colors here. This is magenta mist. I'm wearing a different red lipstick, but this is magenta, okay? The magenta do be hitting and it's looking pretty red right now. Let me try it on the inside of my hand so you can see what the color looks like. So it'll look different in your palm versus the back of the hand. But this color is gorge. It's looking a little dork. It's very hydrating. I love a matte lip, we understand that. But as of late, I have been into very pigmented lip colors that wear long, like are not gonna just rub off when I eat something, but then are hydrating as well, right? Pigment, long wearing, hydrating. Those are all important to me. This is really cute. I don't know what I'm becoming. I'm, I think I'm like, I don't know. Am I, am, I, am I changing? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just into a hydrated, bold, lip color you can't you can't beat that you know it's good to grow it's good to grow now these lipsticks are cruelty free vegan hydrating just awesome and then the other lipstick that i have is this color from fashion fair it's called rebel this is beautiful it's giving deep plum i don't wear colors like this very often but whenever i do y'all go crazy y'all like love it give us more dark vampy lips so this lip is perfect for the winter time you know sweater season vampy lip bold lash maybe hair pulled back or like a top knot oh yes and it's hydrating so if you're not into matte lips this is great because you got great pigment and it's hydrating let's do the back of the hand so you can see just give a hydration baby look i'm putting this like in such a big area on my hand <laughs> it is giving hydration do you see that just gorge, okay? I'm trying to tell you something. If you love hydrating lips, comment below, let me know. If you like it matte, let me know as well. Okay, 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 hold on. If you know, you know. If you follow me on IG and you follow my stories or even my vlogs, hello, if you're not, make sure you're watching them, links are always below, then you know that I burn a candle every single day. Now, I don't burn, like the candle's not gonna just burn out in one day, it lasts several days. Sometimes depends, right? Or like a week or so, it doesn't matter. Listen, I love me some candles and I love me some forever mood. Do you understand? When Jackie Ina announced that she was gonna be in Sephora, we were all like, wait, hold on, what do you mean? What do you mean and when, okay? We're talking about cuffing season now. Interestingly enough, I never got cuffing season. I got two of the other gift sets that came out, but I never got cuffing season and the others that were in the assortment. So now I have it and I am into it. Hold on. I can't lie though, the Forever Mood candles are the candles that I burn last.
because I just, I know, I know, I know. Black girl luxury, I deserve it. I, I'm here for all of it, right? But I be feeling like, yo, this is a good candle. Like you have your candles that are like, mm, you know, let's burn these for now. And then you have your like special candles. This to me, Forever Mood is a special candle type of candle. It's a special brand for me. It just warms my heart. I love my home to smell good at all times. So here we have cuffing season. You have to tell me if you have this candle, if you have any of the other Forever Mood candles, which ones are your favorite? I have so many favorites. This has now become another one of my favorites. Let me give you all the specifics, okay? So this is in the Fresh Fragrance family, which is so unique because the other ones I don't think fall in the fresh, but I'm not quite sure, okay? It's giving you fresh florals. It's got key notes of fresh ozone, iris, Douglas fir. Ooh, it has notes of salty lemon, familiar touches of violet and jasmine and deep breaths of Douglas fir. Baby, I just don't understand. So that's my roundup of some awesome options for you to check out at Sephora. And they're all by, like I said, black owned brands. There are so many options. Sephora is giving us mad options, okay, for products by black owned brands. And the list is growing, which I think is fantastic. Like this is not the end of it, okay? So I want you to look in my description box to find links to all the products that I discussed today. I want you to to comment and let me know if you've tried these. Do you plan on trying any of these? Are there any favorites that you have at Sephora by black owned brands that I have not mentioned that you think I should try out? Listen, I am always shopping. It's kind of a problem that I don't care about. Like I love it. I think it's fantastic. Like what do you think? <laughs> I think it's great. Like how else am I gonna know the lay of the land unless I buy the things, try them, and then share with you. You feel know what I'm saying? As always, glad you're here. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to give it a thumbs up because if you made it this far, then you obviously agree that the video was fantastic, okay? Thanks for watching. Talk later, bye.